you know, payroll is definitely a big topic right now. Oh yeah. So, um, you know, Heather and I will just share that this, this, um, webinar was actually scheduled pre COVID. So mm -hmm. a lot of the things that we're talking about today, it's really fun to, to pull in this conversation post COVID now, yeah. because we're talking about, um, you know, all of the EIDL loans, all of the PPP loans. And so it's fun to be able to say, we were already talking payroll, but man, payroll is now a really, really key part of what it is that we're doing. And there's a lot of technology and resources that are going to be inside of this episode. So you can walk through, yeah. how do you get different things? How do you access it? How do you share it with your clients? So um, I'm glad that you're here, Matthew. I'm glad that Nick, you had this idea of this episode. It's interesting that for the longest time, everybody's been talking about having to move into advisory services, advisory services, right? Isn't it interesting that payroll is actually kind of what took the forefront of advisory services because of COVID. I mean, yeah. it's really required us to step up our game to really dive deep into how payroll is handled and what's going to be able to be used or not. So um, like you said, the, the ironic thing was we were going to talk about uh, how to use payroll as advisory. We just didn't expect it to be in this matter. So right. unfortunately, ADP does a great job of giving us the tools to help really help us get it done. So fun. All so right, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with our slides. Um, I'm Heather Satterley. I am the founder and owner of Satterley Training and Consulting and also the co-founder and CEO of Back Office Ally. Uh, and I focus on process automation and helping small businesses and accounting firms um, automate their and streamline their processes. Fantastic. And uh, I'm Liz Scott and I have a firm in Oklahoma and our focus is helping small businesses with any type of QuickBooks needs. So integrations is a big part of what I do. I think it's fun to, to test technology and go, ooh, I didn't know. And so a little bit of investment in the beginning to figure out a software, in my experience, pays off dividends uh, whenever you're able to understand it and use it and start automating. So true. Yeah, definitely. And there's so many businesses out there that need help. I just, I'm meeting, I'm working with a client now um, that's been using QuickBooks Enterprise and they hired me to do some training, but also to find out if they were a good fit for QuickBooks Online. And they actually are. They're a great fit. They're a big company, 150 employees. Um, but a lot of the tools and things that were in QuickBooks, they had no idea were there. And you forget when you're, when you're, you know, doing your day-to-day, -day, especially when you're running an accounting firm, you forget that your clients don't know all the tricks and tips that you do. And you can actually bring a ton of benefit to existing, um, you know, technology users because you have all of this breadth of knowledge and expertise to share with them. So that was kind of fun to go through with him and show him some, and I haven't been in QuickBooks desktop for a long time, honestly, because I'm almost completely QBO, but it was really fun to go through that with him and show him um, you know, some of the things that quick enterprise could do that he didn't know it could. All think right. Of how often, What's that? Think of, how, think of how often we find new things in the program, right? Yeah. And we're in it all the time, but you know, for other people, it's, it, it, they're not in it as often as yeah. we are. So, yeah. and that's me, right? So, so I'm Matthew Fulton. I'm with Parkway <laughs> Business Solutions. Um, we actually, you know, we do bookkeeping payroll for small to medium sized businesses, but really our specialty is workflow design, which is why I always love your show so much because it is. It's all about connecting different apps, finding the different ways to bring the human touch and the app connection to, to get things done faster and more efficiently. Um, and one of the things I find to kind of go along with what you were saying, Liz, it's really interesting how often when we're looking at something for a client, if we dive into the app that they have already, almost 60% of the time we can find a way to improve the use of that app before we have to actually suggest trying to do anything else whatsoever, just by, you know, diving in a little deeper. Definitely. Great point. Yeah, really good point. Um, so you have some, you have a Facebook group that you have, how many members do you have now? It's a huge Facebook group, right? <sighs> Yeah, well, it's it's been growing, but I feel so fortunate. I, I have to say that um, with all the stuff that's been happening, I am so grateful for social media in, the, in our in our groups. Uh, QB Community Live, it's a group I created, co-created with uh, my good friend, Linda Arasani. And we've got about 1,200 members now. 
Um, we've, you know, it's made up of small business owners, accountants, bookkeepers, tax professionals. Uh, it's all based on the concept that, you know, together we all succeed. So it's, it's a great group. We really are we're proud of what it's become. Fantastic. And I just have to do the plug because Linda is from Rhode Island. She doesn't live there Linda now. Yeah. But she's a Rhode Island native like me. So, so she's got to be, she's got to be okay. Right. She is. She's, uh, she's you awesome. know, <laughs> I'm fortunate to have her as a, a partner on this, this whole journey. It's yeah. great. Oh, she's fantastic. All right. So huge thank you to our champagne sponsor, Right Networks, the leading cloud hosting provider for accounting professionals. Um, if you haven't checked out, we have actually uh, three deep dive sessions with uh, Right Networks that you can watch on our website, theappyhour.com, uh, if you want to learn more about that. And another huge thank you to ADP. Um, I'm a big partner with ADP. Uh, I love their products. Um, I love Account Connect. I'm really excited for you to share all of the goodies that are in there, Matthew, um, because I, I love the fact, I love their integration to QuickBooks, first of all, um, because it's, it's a great first step for those that have not yet integrated anything into QuickBooks. Um, it's, it's very straightforward. It's flexible. Um, so I, and it's, and it's reliable. So um, love that, and I love all the benefits that are in Account and Connect. It's like, wow, they just keep getting better, too. So. Which actually, it's a good time to ask. The people watching both here and on Facebook, let us know, have you used Account and Connect yet? Are you familiar with it? If you have, please tell us your favorite feature of it, of it as well. We'd love to see that. You know, and I would also say that if you've used ADP in the past and you've used their integration, you should see it now because it's really, it's, they've made some really incredible improvements. Um, it's very, very streamlined and it's, you can even automate it. So um, love, love, love that. So definitely, if you haven't taken a look in a while, yeah. you're going to be excited about, about what Matthew is going to show you today. So uh, this is our agenda for today. Um, we just wanted to kind of open up the conversation before we dive into Account and Connect to talk about finding the right payroll solution. And, you know, Liz and I were, were thinking about what makes a good payroll solution for our clients. And specifically from the accountant's point of view, when we're serving lots of different clients in a, in a lot of cases, in a lot of different industries with very different needs, mm -hmm. um, we thought these were some of the things that were really important to accounting professionals when they're looking for a payroll um, provider, somebody to partner with. I love being able to say, I want it to sync automatically. So that's, that's a big thing for me with automation. And the visibility, just, I want to see the details. And that's one of those things that sometimes whenever you're um, dealing with payroll, if you're, if you're sharing responsibility of duty, sometimes there's some limitations on visibility and that's very frustrating. So um, that's definitely something I'm looking for whenever I go out and I um, research a payroll provider. Yeah, Hello. and I mean, having access to, like you said, to reports, mm -hmm. right? So when you, how many times do we wait? You know, the hurry up and wait, right? So your client says, I need this tomorrow. And you're like, okay, send me your payroll reports. And then you wait for a week. And then they finally send them to you. And they're like, can I have that in 10 minutes? <laughs> Story of our lives, right? So being able to have, you know, on-demand access to all of our clients' information is, is key to making sure that we don't end up with a bottleneck in our practice. Because every single time that you pick up, a, you know, a project in your firm and you work on it and you have to put it back down, because you're waiting for information and you pick it up again, you're wasting, you're, you're losing money, right? Because you have, it takes time to get your head back into the place that you were um, before you had to, to stop. And so having access to our clients' information on demand is such, it's so important. Well, you know, the other thing is, is this makes me think <laughs> of payroll emergencies. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, we'd like to say that there's no emergencies in accounting, but our clients definitely think that they have emergencies. And if you're able to teach them how to use the, the software, if you're able to teach them how to work through some of their questions, man, it takes a big load off of your shoulders to, you know, share in that responsibility of tasks. Yeah. And that kind of makes some of the biggest difference whenever you're talking about choosing a payroll provider. Is it easy for everybody to move around in? One of the things that we always found, having done payroll now for quite some time, 
you always have this issue where payroll seems to be connected to HR questions all the time. So for us, it's great to have a resource that we can actually offboard that HR aspect of it or provide that as a complimentary service because the questions are going to come no matter what. Well, should I pay my person this? Can I pay them overtime that? There's just so much of that compliance stuff that it gets kind of difficult to answer without having a great resource for it. Yep. Definitely. I agree. And I, I think the thing that I think, Liz, you and I have said this over and over again is the support is having a partnership. And I know, you know, with, I, I have a rep, um, Sarah, that I work with at ADP. And I, the, the last client I re referred her to, gave her a hug before she left. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was really awesome. Um, and, you know, having that automation was key for my client. You know, she really wanted to streamline her processes and being able to, or not having to enter in those payroll entries manually into her QuickBooks was kind of a godsend for her. It's one of those things like you can't imagine ever going back. Like once you do it, you can't imagine ever having to go in and make those manual entries again. Yeah. So. Yeah. 941X. <laughs> yes. I was just reading Elizabeth's comment and she was saying, yeah, that some of the, her clients know best, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and so, you know, there's sometimes adjustments that have to be made and then you have those 941Xs that are fun. Yeah. Not really. Not fun at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. Oh, move us on, Heather. Let's let's see. Right. Oh, reports. Reports. I love reports. The big I'm one too. Person. Yeah. So being able to to have some customization that's really important to me. I I love my reports, and so I want to be able to make them exactly like I want them. And then one of the cool Trumpy. things is being able to say this is this is our own internal standardized report template and apply it to all of the other clients right right because we all have our own internal processes when we're tying out to those payroll tax returns and everybody has their own way to do it mm -hmm. but you want that that one way done across your entire client base so being able to set that up for your all your clients is really important so i think that that would be my favorite adp feature yep Mine's a benchmarking, but I know we'll talk about that in a little bit. So yeah. that's an amazing feature. And, and the automation too, you can schedule the reports. Just fantastic. Yes. You, yeah. don't have to, you, don't have to, you don't have to have an employee log in every month and download everybody's report or, or you know, run everybody's reports. You can schedule that. So it's nice. Still have to yeah, download Michelle, them, but you can run them. Michelle was saying in the comments that she loves being able to assign teammates to clients. So now that's kind of one of the biggest parts of Accountant Connect that we'll, we'll get into shortly is like some of the benefits and features at, from the firm aspect, which is great, right? Right. All right. So we are ready to, uh, so anyway, Matthew, we, we threw the slide in here because we wanted to just yeah. give an overview of what Accountant Connect is because a lot of people are unfamiliar of actually what it is. And then we're going to dive into all the really cool features. But can you explain to us like in a kind of a nutshell of what it what does it bring to the accounting professional? Absolutely. So, you know, the biggest thing right off the bat, how many people, whenever you're sitting with a new client and you need to gain access to their payroll information, the client gives you their username and password and you have to go log in one at a time to each one individually to go and grab these details. Well, that's kind of like back in 1990s. Nowadays, what we've got the ability to do is Account Connect gives you a single dashboard you can attach all of your client connections to so you can very efficiently move from client to client to go through grab reporting. Matter of fact, you, could, you can even do bulk reporting on certain reports for like PPP. So it puts all the access to all these tools into one single place and then it makes it, they've also improved all the tools that are inside of there, the resources that are available, everything else. So it's a time-saving dashboard for all the payroll information. Does that seem about right? Would you sum it up that oh, way? Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. No, I, I love that. It's, it's, you know, for, I know we have predominantly QuickBooks online users. It's, it's like having QuickBooks online accountants yeah. for your payroll clients. Everything's in one dashboard, so you can easily switch in between clients, which is fantastic. Yep, and it gives you control, that. too, right, over all of your, your clients' connections and everything else. So, all right. Do you want to, do you want me to play Vanna or do you want to take over sharing your screen? Um, were you planning to demo? Um, 
I will let you play Vanna, if that's okay. okay. That's and fine. we can kind of t discuss through some of the stuff inside there, but I will also make sure I've got my pulled up if we need to do a switch around to dive in a little bit deeper with some of the stuff. Maybe okay. what we can do is do the slides first and then dive in from there. Love it. Um, because everybody always loves watching all the slides all the time, I'm sure. So, <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, now one of the things we really wanted to start off by showing with the account connect in their dashboard, what they, they basically do is right from the moment you log in, they're going to always provide you these pop ups with the most up to date information that you need. You know, it's the tools we need to be able to help all small business owners as well as our, um, as well as to help us, the accountants. So, um, you'll notice from a pop-up, it basically gives you the legislative changes, providing you access to valuable resources and everything else as it shows here. We can go to the next one. On Now, what I wanted to highlight through this was if we were to basically look at the resources that are available through Accountant Connect from an aspect like helping get your clients back on top, I tried to list out my five favorite ideas or favorite things that I would suggest people would look at and the different areas they're in. So as we talked about, we'll kind of start here and then we'll dive, we can actually do a demo and show you where these pieces are. But one of the first pieces that we'll go into, it talks about like the loan forgiveness estimator. They, they've got all these additional resources such as that or a return to work checklist that they're always coming up with this new content to make sure that we know how we can best, you know, guide these small businesses. Now from there, they have additional resources like one of the things they, they have that I was pretty impressed with is a client letter that they have all these different templates. And we were going to kind of show what each person liked best off of those as well, if I remember correctly, right? Um, one of them being like the client letter that there's client letters you can do in there, letting people know about the changes with the PPP, so forth. Um, and then the most important right now is going to be, of course, all the reporting differences. So I've been really impressed with how much ADP has done day after day after day to stay on top of all of this stuff. It's been, it's actually pretty cool. If you look at all the different companies that are out there at this time, they've been extremely proactive, providing information not only to the people that are signed up, but just out to public as it is. Um, then number four goes into like benchmarking. And then of course, the last portion of it is the apps to grow with. So let's go to the next slide and we'll kind of show examples of each of these as we're going along. So the first tool that they offer at this point, it's their, um, their loan forgiveness estimator tool. Right now, it's the big push. Everybody has most likely received their PPP money and everybody's trying to do their best to track how the funds are being spent to obtain the best loan forgiveness picture they can for their clients. Well, you want to be doing checkpoints along the way and this estimation tool really helps you evaluate what you're looking at. What's your, you know, if you enter in the amount of your payroll uh, for the covered period, the number of FTE employees gives you more pop-ups and details of what each of those mean. Um, this will help you really get through a lot of that information quickly to make it easier for you. They additionally, besides the resources like I was talking about, um, they have a return to work checklist which we'll pull up. They also do, which I don't know a lot of people know about, the CPE and recorded webinars. So if you need to earn CPE credits, this is a great way through the resources, tag in, get uh, subscribed for one of the courses and use some of this time to get those CPE credits done. And then I really enjoyed because we are cloud based having the state by state payroll tax information. So no matter where my client is located at, we can pull up whatever's information is relevant, be able to provide some guidance and insights off of that as well. Um, we can go to the next one as well. Wait, wait, wait. I love this. I oh, yeah. love this estimator because, okay, so the two bottom boxes, um, well, uh, uh, part of the equation part, it, putting in the number of employees, oh my gosh. I mean, that's like, that takes time to manually calculate. I just happen to have this on my desk, but here's the actual doc. And if you were going to go through and look at the, you know, this is for one client. This is their PPP forgiveness um, application if you haven't printed that that didn't look familiar and one of an, almost an entire page is dedicated to those two bottom questions how many employees did you have at the beginning of the period and how many do you have during each month that's part of the formula that you have to use in order to be able to ask for forgiveness so this tool is great 
And, you know, as we dive into some of the reporting, trying to figure out what an FTE full-time equivalent is. Yes. I mean, I spent the whole weekend on just that part of it to try to understand how, which of the two ways that you're going to be looking at um, calculating this. Is it the average of 40 hours or are you doing a simplified version? And mm -hmm. there's specific unique reporting that they're always, every time, you think we have it hard to just read these like um, final interim rulings that they give out. They have to then go and take that and code the reports to actually show correctly based on any of the changes that occur. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're on that stuff super fast because, you know, day by day, the stuff has been changing. So it's a good point. Yeah, love it. Love it. So let's go to the next one. And so on here, what I was trying to, we actually, when we were talking last week about this, we went through a huge list. There's all of these letters, client letters that you can use on all types of different topics that are basically ready to go out in an email. I can't tell you how many hours I spent trying to craft a certain email only to find it was already created inside of here that was actually it was written better than what I would have done. Um, so now this is my go-to to check every single time before I'm doing anything payroll related for like communication to clients and mass to see what can happen here. Um, they've got all the breakout by different states. They've got it by different topics and all of this stuff. Again, it's all letters that can be used to be sent out to clients. Um, you put your own name onto it and it's, it's beautiful time saving. And the next one the so here now i talked at the beginning to about the fact we can get all of our clients onto one single place and what we're seeing on this dashboard at the moment is underneath the number one column you'd have a list of all of your different clients being displayed you can pick and choose which client you want to do reporting on and then you can actually choose which reports you want to to process so you can do them individually or you can actually run them all in bulk at the same time so kind of up to you what you prefer the dashboard also gives us access off to the far left side where you can see all of the different tools and features, which is some of the stuff we're kind of going through at the moment. Um, so we'll want to, you, you'll click through those, find different calculators that you can use. Uh, you can get to their app marketplace. Um, it, it's just a very nice, clean, easy layout, which I really, really like. Uh, let's go to the next one. We'll show some of the features inside of it. So reporting. Now we already talked a bit about the fact that the Paycheck Protection Program, you've, you've got the estimator tool, but I wanted to kind of highlight where the numbers come from at the same time. So this is a package of all of the different type of reporting that they offer uh, for you to use to try to calculate this information. And I believe, Nick, you've got another, some additional loan forgiveness reporting coming pretty soon as well. Is that right? Yeah, so because loan forgiveness and PPP has been such a moving target for the last few months, um, we're trying to put the reporting out in waves as the information is there. So in Accountant Connect today, you about the show, there are loan forgiveness reports that you can access in Accountant Connect on the loan forgiveness payroll costs. Um, you can get it at um, a macro level or at the employee level so you have the details and then there'll be another wave of four reports coming in over the next few weeks uh, as we do anticipate additional guidance from the sba the treasury um, and so we're updating those accordingly yeah those are coming very quickly of course so um so the reporting packages that are available these are like you said are, are continuously being updated you've got the information that you need and you can be tracking this on a consistent basis so for our clients we're doing projections for everybody. Uh, we, of course, needed to be able to look at the uh, chosen period is what they're calling it now, but it's the look back period is what they used to call it. Uh, we have to have all that information populated so we know what wages were paid and what the FTE account was. But then we need to be evaluating between now and like June 30th, how much money spend, how much of our spend we're gonna use, what's our FTE account look like? Because in California, a lot of other places as well, the unemployment is so high at the moment that we're having some difficulty getting some people back to work, but we still have to make sure we hit those FTE numbers correctly or we're in trouble. You uh, know, that's, that's a really good point. And, you know, my thought here is looking at this report package that you created 
this is really COVID uh, focused, but really it doesn't have to be whenever you're creating these report packages. So at this moment, this is a really, really relative topic to everybody, which is why we use this as the demo. But honestly, any of these report packages that you want to create, you just create them and apply them to you know, your different clients. And you were showing on the previous screen, you know, check marking each of the clients that you wanted this packet to apply to. So, you know, that's a huge benefit. Yeah, I love the fact, and you alluded to it earlier, that you can set up your own custom group of reporting, and then you can use that across different clients. So it, it really streamlines the amount of time you have to use processing payroll per client through everything. So it's a great, it's a great point. Um, when we dive into the, uh, the actual demo file, we can show more of the different reports as well that are available because it, it dives into retirement, there's benefits, there's just about anything and everything you could possibly use. So let's go to the next one. Now this is my favorite part, compensation benchmarking tool. I absolutely love this thing. And what this does is as we're, as we're looking to get people back to work and regrow the businesses and bring the dollars back in, we need to make sure that we're, we are retaining our top talent by making sure we're paying them appropriately. At the same time, money's tight, we wanna make sure we're not overcompensating them by providing too many benefits and so forth. So the compensation benchmark tool, what it does is it will allow you to go in and you can evaluate by industry, by state, you can get very granular to see what kind of wages people are being paid in different areas and we'll actually show you some of the stuff on the next slide here that kind of shows uh, what that looks like. Um, if we, let's go to the next one, I'll show you what we're talking about here. So as an example, uh, one of the things I pulled up to show a base salary, you, this was pulling up a position as if it was for an accountant uh, for a larger corporation. You can see what they would say the median uh, wage would be, as well as how many organizations are there, what the employee count is, so what's the average, what's the top, what's the bottom, uh, as well as total cash compensation, including overtime is evaluated. So you really can fine tune in exactly how much somebody's getting paid by local competition or national competition. Um, we find this is really, really helpful when, when we have clients that are growing and they're at that point where they need to add somebody else on and they're trying to decide what makes more sense paying more, continuing to pay overtime to other employees, or instead hiring somebody new on to, instead of having the overtime charges. This really, really helps us make that decision, of course. I would find that this is also incredibly helpful when, you know, even for, um, you know, now that everybody's working remotely, right? or a lot of us have now gone to remote work, is finding out what the market salary is in a location. Because you may have a really good gauge, or your client may have a really good gauge on what the compensation level is in their geographic area. But if they're now starting to open jobs up to other parts of the country, um, they need, you know, that that's really useful information to them to figure out what is, you know, what is considered, um, you know, market compensation in a new area. Well, What's you know, sorry, so, sorry. Um, <laughs> with <laughs> Facebook, they were saying the same thing. I don't know if you noticed, but they were saying that they're going to make a lot of their employees virtual. And so it was going to be based off of compensation of location. So this would be really, really important. So the same it person wasn't. can be paid different in different states based on what their, um, the average pay is and the average uh, cost of living. That was exactly what I was going to bring up too. So, yeah. Cost of living, right. Perfect. I mean, it's, it's interesting because these larger corporations are starting to look, uh, look at how compensation is going to be done. We're going to see a major change. So yeah, we are. We find how ADP adjusts with that too. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. we're getting comments about benchmarking this beautiful, heck yes, <laughs> Mary Ann. Oh, and the reports are so gorgeous. Like the way like you lay it out, it makes us look so professional. I mean, I, I love it. it they, you just, you go into a meeting with your clients with that and you just can't help but look good. They're just like blown away. And the they information are, is phenomenal. Clients, they really process information visually. Um, it, you know, as accountants, we're, we want a spreadsheet, right? We look at the numbers, we're used to processing large, you know, spans of data, but our clients aren't. And so they really want to see a graph. They want to see a visual representation of where they are. 
little known fact before I started with Parkway, I worked in staffing for about two years and I was helping place accountants in accounting positions. So from that perspective, recognizing the different wages people would be paid in the different roles, this is, that's why I love it so much. It's, it's right on the dot. It's mm. awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we go to the next slide, we should have a couple more things that are based on this as well. And this is basically, again, just trying to show at the different uh, levels of like how long they've been with a company. So if they've been with a company for 15 years versus if they've been with a company for one to two years, because that's going to also impact what your compensation would be as well. So again, they get really detailed with all of this information. Gotcha. And then the, the next one, if we go to, so the client insights, we, we alluded to this earlier. We already know that all of our clients, we can see all the information of who we have connected here, but this also gives us a single place to see what benefits or what, what aspects of ADP are the clients using. Now that gives us a great opportunity. Really the best way to say it is to upsell our clients into uh, connected resources that can improve the process for them, but also improve the process for us. For example, workers' compensation. If you have, you know, it's a great opportunity to be able to tie them into a pay-as-you-go workers' comp policy with through ADP, and now you can streamline that whole process, having to report the numbers, and really improve their cash flow as well, which is great. Um, human resources, it's a huge one for us. We can make it, you know, make sure they have their employee handbooks. Make sure uh, if you go to the appropriate level, you can have a, uh, HR department that will basically answer any questions that you may have, which helps us accountants avoid those questions and keeps the liability off of us, which is great. Um, do you ladies use any aspect of like the, I'm sure you guys are using the, the product dashboard as well to help upsell clients or make sure they know which ones, which services to add on, right? Like retirement even? Yeah, no, definitely. And I think that, you know, when, when you're advising clients and they're asking for that tax planning, it's nice to be able to see it in an overview. And, and also when you're working with your staff, like going through your client list, and figuring out where is their opportunity in your firm to grow. Yep. For sure. So if we move on to the next one, and then we'll pretty quick here, we're just about to be able to dive in, which will be great. So the biz equity. Now, this is something that's a little bit newer with ADP, but it's actually really cool. With today's time, I think we're going to find that there's going to be a lot of firms that are probably ready to exit. Maybe they were ready to exit already. And now they're going to be looking to sell their business. So through biz equity, you can actually get business valuations. Um, you can even set up and start planning succession planning, basically start looking at the exit strategy for the company, because you always want to start, you should be looking at that exit strategy before you're ready to exit. Usually probably three to five years beforehand. Um, that's going to actually help you optimize to getting the best price or even on the flip side, maybe you want to look at buying another firm's books. So the business valuation tools can help with those resources as well. Um, Nick, I know that, like I was saying, biz equity is a little bit newer. Is there anything you'd like to add about biz equity that we should know about? Yeah, Matt. So, um, they have been a partner of ADP for a couple of years now. Um, we've worked in tandem with them to provide you know, a fairly unique but growing need in the market for business valuation tools. Um, you know, it's something that typically um, you need some type of expertise in. Some firms specialize in business valuations, and so it can be rather costly endeavor for your clients that are looking for, you know, what, hey, what is my business worth? Right? So we found that a lot of accounting firms just weren't equipped to answer those types of questions and were either you know, going out and looking for a tool in the secondary market or they were just referring that business to another accounting firm that did specialize it and they were losing, losing out on that revenue themselves. The biz equity tool makes it so that any accountant um, can add it to their suite of services. Um, they have a very unique process. Uh, where they can offer you uh, a, a highly accurate valuation for your client's business um, in, in literally hours. Um, there's a, a process that walks uh, the accountant and their client through the different areas of their business uh, and ultimately gives you a full detailed readout on what their valuation, um, their business might be worth. So uh, to your point, Matt, you know, even if it, you know, if it's an accounting firm or, you know, any of your clients that maybe were impacted by, 
COVID-19 that maybe are looking now to permanently, you know, close their doors or, or sell their practice. Uh, this is an invaluable tool um, that allows the accountant to effectively give that valuation, you know, for their clients. Yeah. And again, it just so ties to the times right now that movers and shakers, right? Like we said, some people are going to want to exit. Other people are going to look to expand. So either way, um, these tools definitely can help you get back on that right, that path. So uh, let's go ahead and move to the next one. And now this is one, I, I believe you, uh, you both just did a pretty good deep dive into the app marketplace, right? Which, I mean, that's my favorite place to play around. I love just going into these places and looking at what apps are available or not. It's a great way to stay on top of like the changing times and applications. But this is really important, especially now, because this is how we start to streamline those processes. How can we help businesses get more done with less people or just more efficiently? Because cash flow, this is all going to come down to cash flow for the next X amount of time. So we want to make sure we're optimizing the, the connections and the technology. One of these, which we'll show a little bit as soon as we dive into the demo area, is how you can do the mapping of the general ledger for QuickBooks. I think that's a really important area to kind of highlight because it makes our job so much faster. Um, I would be interested to know for you ladies, which, do you have a favorite app in the app marketplace yet? Well, yeah. Um, I like my discounts. My discounts, what's that one? I'm um, not familiar with that. Well, it's not called my discounts. The Life oh. Mart. It's the Life Mart. I love it. <laughs> like, I love it. So I love it. What, what it does is it, it searches out um, all different kinds of categories. And so you can put in there. For me, I was searching for some electronics. And it was surprising that through my payroll solution, I was able to get electronic discounts. So, what? Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Life Mart has got all kinds of discounts. So you can get computer software discounts. You can get electronic monitor discounts. You can get, you know, anything that is inside of Life Mart. You know, they've um, ADP's brought Life Mart in as a resource with all of these discounts that you can offer to your, um, you know, your your entire uh, team or or yourself. However, you're you're doing it. But even Heather bought some tickets through life mart that you weren't able to get otherwise some theater tickets. yeah no I got, I got some great theater tickets um on life mart uh for yeah. Beetlejuice for my daughter it was awesome it was six row I yeah no life mart's amazing I got, I've gotten ski tickets there there's all kinds of great discounts um, discounts on flowers like, yeah mm -hmm. but you know I think the one I think the app that I'm I'm kind of most excited about is the slack integration so uh, you can, you can connect team. Slack, ADP to Slack, and the employees can actually, um, it has a bot. It's basically a bot. So they can ask, you know, how much uh, vacation time they have left or, you know, how many personal days have they used this year? I think that's really, really, really useful for, you know, small businesses or any size business, really, that has employees that are using the Slack uh, platform. It also works with Microsoft Teams, right, Nick? Yep. Yeah. I'm on. Sorry, I'm on mute. Yes. Yeah, it also works with Microsoft Slack, Teams. Microsoft Teams and yeah. uh, and Workplace by Facebook. And Workplace by Facebook. So I think that's my my favorite. Yeah, For me, one. my favorite, and this is going to sound like kind of a somewhat of obvious answer, but actually it's been T-Sheets. And that's because we do a lot with QuickBooks Online Projects. And so this allows me to use T-Sheets for tracking the activities and everything else. I can pull the time into ADP to run the payroll, but I can still use the T-Sheets time to get pushed into QuickBooks Online or Online right. Advanced as projects for all the time, you know, job costing. So that one's been a big, big help for me. So what do you say we dive in, uh, well, we got the last couple minutes here, to um, show more about the program itself uh, inside of it. Does that work? Yes. Let's do it. Yeah, we love demos. Sure, Show us how. That's always, you know, what everybody says. We want to see it yep. in action. So we've already seen the fancy pictures of everything else where this is our primary dashboard. And one of the things I wanted to jump into right away, because I really think it's super important, is when you're, if you go to any of your clients, you can go into the general ledger for that specific client. And you have the ability, you can do the mapping of your general ledger 
um, all of your different accounts it's going to process through. So I would choose which platform I'm going to. And I would choose connect to QuickBooks. Uh, let's see if I... You would then populate your different details in. Let's see if I'm able to go continue. Nice. You guys did a great job with this demo setup. So normally you'd have to show, populate the questions, everything else. And now at this point, I'm going to upload, I would upload my chart of accounts and I can start to map out all of the different details for the company itself. You can do it either at the company level, but you can also go to the employee level. So if you want to break out, let's say like the owner's pay type versus employee pay type, you can do the exact same thing. Now, they have people that will assist you through this if you want assistance. Or as accountants, this used to be one of the biggest pain points for us is because we wanted to have the control to choose which accounts we wanted everything to get tagged to. So this makes it very easy for you to go through, choose which of the accounts you want, set everything up, and you would map all the details, payroll liability accounts as well. Um, nice. So this just quickly populated everything for us, making it nice and easy, and we would hit save. Now, if I wanted to do by department or by employee, so when you start getting those larger companies, you have the ability to make out those breakout details as well. So if I click on here, we would see it for each employee, go through all the different settings. We would be able to save it and we'll close out. And that's what I love, Matthew, about the flexibility of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you can, you can really customize this one integration to meet almost any client's needs because of the different ways that you can tell the data to sync over to QuickBooks. Yeah, and one of the things actually to draw attention to, if you want to validate employee names, so this is one thing to pay attention to, first name versus last name, last name versus first name. Do pay attention to how you have your employees set up in your company file. That will be important for this part. Um, you don't have to necessarily validate it that way, but if you, if you do, you want to make sure it's going to be aligned correctly. What this does, once this is all done, you do have the ability that you can actually, after you process every single payroll, you can just push in. You would go click and choose the one you want to do. Do it. It's telling me which one. Basically, click and send all the data straight to the, the accounting software that you chose. Um, if you needed to update something, you could resend the data if you need to. This, this worked extremely well. The first time I went through, because I was learning how to use this, I had to adjust some accounts because I chose incorrectly. And it was so easy to be able to go in, readjust it, be able to push the stuff in. So now every time we process a payroll, I don't have to go in and create all these extra, extra journal entries. Mm -hmm. I can just push them in, but I can still come and download an Excel copy of it if I want as well. Nice. So very, very big on time savings there. Um, now, of course, you've also got when you're in the company file, I'm gonna go back we talked about the, the different report capabilities. Um, so, you know, if you get your report, uh, excuse me, reports on the side here, as you choose different companies that you want, you then choose a section of reports. So you could do, uh, if you wanted all these care ones, and then you would choose a date range and generate the report, it will actually run it for multiple companies. Um, mm -hmm. Or you can do them one at a time. But here are some of the other reports that are, easily accessible through here. So, of course, you've got your payroll detail, liability, summary, of course, um, company reporting, you're gonna have your deductions, summary, earnings by department. So again, if you have departments, uh, workers comp pay by premium, which is great. Um, the general ledger setup, again, I love, if we're having to do a rebuild for a company, be able to get into these, grab these reports so we can actually do a reconciliation of all the payroll very easily to make sure we start off at the right place your different worksheets, um, you've got federal reporting, um, so much more that you can see through all that stuff, of course. How so mm -hmm. you had asked something earlier, you said, what's my favorite feature? And that's, that's it right there. Being able to create those reports in bulks like that by clicking on my client list and saying, this is the report package I want. I yeah, love and that. So, cause you can schedule this stuff as well, right? To be automatically sent as well, which is great. It's a good point. We want things uniform. And so if there's a standard yes. thing that you're looking for, you can create this, this uniform way of uh, tackling your clients. And Nick is putting some really good information, but I think it's coming just to the panelists. So uh, 
Um, yeah, that's my fault. I'm resetting them now. I thought I was on everything. Okay, cool. Because you're putting so, in some good comments there. Thank you. Yeah, we had some questions before on the Biz Equity tool, so I added those in there. Um, awesome. The comp benchmarking. It's all it's all available in the analysis tools. When you click on that, um, you see the client insights and that went over. Comp benchmarking. Um, business valuations is the fourth tab, but then we didn't even talk about the third tab, which is um, industry profile reports, where we actually make available more than 200 detailed industry profiles, including KPIs for specific verticals um, available through iBizWorld. So the top 10 most requested industries are available for free. Um, and then if you're looking for any specific industry beyond that for a particular client niche that you're looking to brush up, learn more about, that could be for an existing client or maybe you're looking to land a new client, um, just contact your local EDP rep and we can get those reports over to you complimentary. And everything looks, the presentation of all this stuff is just top notch. So here's the biz equity section we were talking about and then the compensation benchmarking, which once we click, it will come over here and you can start playing with different, like a job. So let's do uh, bookkeeping, right? Let's do a yeah, do it. Nurse. yeah, nurse or accountant. Um, so you could do, choose which one you want. Then you start to choose like the different areas you would like to go to, different states if you wanted. Um, this is set up as a demo, so it's given guidance as to certain things to click on or not. But of course you can break it down however you would need for your specific uses. Um, you can then get more of a, it'll give you a spreadsheet below of more detailed information again, and then export the whole thing as a nice, beautiful report, which does just a phenomenal job on that. And I'll add to that. So yeah. you can drill into not just by state, but you can go into as specific as the local uh, municipality, the local jurisdiction. So you can get very, very granular with the type of detail on annual composition that you can provide your clients. Um, and do a comparison against, you know, what is the federal average, the statewide average, and then the local average. You know, if you have a, a dentist client, um, you know, how do their employees' salaries compare to the other local dentists in the area, you know, compared to nationally? So it is a really valuable tool with a lot of different use cases. And then I know that, um, Heather, I think one of your favorite calculators is kind of a closing out was the, the planner, right? The um if you're looking to plan to bring people back, uh, this planner does a phenomenal job for this. So it gives you the ability, if you want to basically look at what you're going to be paying, what would you be paying another person to bring them on? What's your actual cost going to look like through all of this? So if you went in, we say gross pay is going to be 50,000, uh, paying them per period, gross to date, let's say was 10,000. I don't know. Um, they're not exempt from anything. We're paying them bi-weekly. Um, actually, I mean, that'd be great if it was every pay period. But um, So then you can come through here. It, choose your different settings, of course, for different allowances. If you want to go to the new uh, 2020 W-4, you would input all the information. Um, come to the bottom. You've got different, look, uh, excuse me, employee contributions for retirement-wise. So let's say we're doing 3% gross pay limit. Uh, what's, the, what's the actual limit nowadays? Do you know? I'll put 25. I'm going to put that number. Let's go calculate. So then once it calculates, it will actually give you the information you need right at the top here as well as a graph to analyze uh, the information as well. Uh, if we did current savings, annual increase, let's go three years to retirement, 15, and boom. So you can really start playing with a lot more of this. So that's a pretty quick dive into majority of ADP. There's so much more. I mean, we could keep talking for hours and hours and hours. Is there anything I missed, ladies, that you think we should be sharing as well? I think we should share that it's free for accountants. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the icing on top. Um, <laughs> so I shared the link. I shared the link in. Um, I shared the link in the chat. So if you guys want to go sign up for it, you can. Um, if you guys would like to, um, oh, my poll isn't working. 
Oh no, let me go fix that. Let's move on to, I'm gonna go on and move on to some some other slides while I go fix that poll for sure. Do you wanna talk about our drink while you're fixing the, the poll? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Can you fill that up there really quick? Can you see, what do you, are you your seeing? Slides. Here we go. Okay, good. So then, how do you get it? There's a link there, I put it in the chat so you can go grab it. And then uh, we're gonna raise a toast and there's our lemon drop. So I'm gonna yes. go fix that. So the um, Jell-O lemon shots, mm, they're so tasty. So here's one right here. There we go. And so you just take a lemon and you core the inside of the lemon out and you use that lemon juice as part of your liquid. And so here's my, my half. And then you slice the half into quarters and then now you have nice little bite size, refreshing lemon shots for your pool time parties. Or you have a liquid lemonade. <laughs> you can have a liquid lemonade, or I've also got little jello shots that go mm. in here. And I have brought my fork along. But the thing that's fun about these is you just bite them like a lemon. Yum. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little jealous. Well, I have I made one. I'm going to go ahead and do all of yours too. Okay. That's a deal. <laughs> that's what friends do. I got that's your back. Deal. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, All right, so our tasty. cool, uh, our Liz and Heather's coolest thing, um, we had thrown in that that it was con Account and Connect and all the money that we save Yeah. <laughs> on um, the Life Mart. So the Life Mart stuff is amazing. So right here, it's a steak, and my goodness, that looks good. <laughs> that Omaha steak looks absolutely delicious, um, and you can find that right inside um, Account and Connect. Another one here is like, you can save money on motorcycles, RVs, ATVs, watercraft, and more. Liz just got an RV, and um, I'm trying to talk my husband into getting a boat, so maybe Lifemart <laughs> can help us with that, too. So. A sailboat? Uh, no, I don't, I don't sail. I'm kind of a baby when I have a baby. I, <laughs> I like think he was teasing you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because of last time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, he had to hear about all of my trauma with sailing, so. And my whole family sails, so it's, yeah. Anyway, so that was our, our coolest thing. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the poll. Um, if you would like someone from ADP to reach out to with more information, please go ahead and let us know. And I will get uh, your information on over to Nick later today. Um, Matthew, thank you so much for um, your thank demonstration. You this was fantaf fantastic. Whoop, there's the poll. Uh, this was fantastic. And um, I, I, you know, I love Accountant Connect. Um, I, I was kind of lucky because I was one of, I think, the early adopters, Nick, um, of Accountant Connect. So I've, I've had it for a while and it just keeps getting better and better and better. So um, thank you to ADP for making all these resources. You know, one of the things I love about Accountant Connect is that, you know, a lot of us are solo practitioners or smaller firms. And these tools that you provide to us can be really, really expensive. And so it really levels the playing field for us, I think, against some of the larger firms because we have access to these tools that, you know, really we're kind of out of our reach. So huge thank you um, to ADP for supporting our community like this. Um, Absolutely. It's fantastic. And, you know, in addition to all the great customer support and the service that you give to our clients. You know, so. our rep has just been amazing. Um, she does just a phenomenal job every time. Not only is she very responsive, she's actually sent us new bookkeeping clients. Oh. How cool is that? That's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. I actually have a meeting with my rep this week, so I'm excited for that. She's awesome. So, all right, everybody. Uh, so that's our life, Mart. I'm going to go ahead and close out the poll. We've had it up. This is your last chance to let us know that you would like Nick to reach out to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end that. And can you guys still see my screen, Liz? Yes, we can. Okay. So uh, our special today is you get this for free. <laughs> so okay. it doesn't get any better than that. So, <laughs> so that's your special. Um, and uh, so definitely go grab that link in, uh, in the chat. Thank you for joining us as always. Um, we're all in this together. Uh, we have an amazing community and you know, it's times like this where we can all get together in real life kind of 
um, that I think is keeping us all sane and, and connected and informed so that we can support the businesses um, that we need. Um, and so make sure that you visit our website. You can connect with our sponsors, get drink recipes. I haven't put the, the lemon drop drink recipe up yet, but I'll have that up by, uh, by tomorrow. Um, you read our blog, send us a message, hang out. Um, and don't forget to sign up for uh, Account and Connect. You'd be crazy not to. Um, join the Happy Hour Lounge Facebook group and also um, Community Live, QuickBooks Community Live Facebook group. It's a great Facebook group as well. Um, and register, if you're joining us via Facebook Live, join us via Zoom, because in Zoom, we've got like the chat panel, we've got the Q&A panel, so it's lots of fun in here. We'd love to have you um, join us here. Um, so large that's- group too. What's that? We have a large group of people, it's great. It so is, it is. We do get a large group of people, so it's fantastic. And uh, so we have on June 9th, which is our next happy hour, we're gonna have uh, a power panel on automating your client onboarding. So this is near and dear to my heart, of course, because um, that's something that I love doing and I help, love helping other accounting professionals to automate that um, tedious process. And so we have some really cool people. We have Joshua Lance joining us on that panel and Brian Clare. Uh, so, uh, and we're gonna see a demo of practice ignition as well. So we'd love to see you on that. Um, thanks a bunch, everybody. Thank you, Nick. Always great to see you. And Matthew, thank you so much. This is fantastic. Thanks, everybody. And uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. Have Bye. a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you in just a couple weeks. Stay healthy, stay safe.